FlexiCare's Neopip Infant Resuscitator is intended for emergency resuscitation of infants up to 10 kilograms in delivery suites, nurseries, and neonatal intensive care units. The pneumatic device delivers oxygen or blended gas to a patient while controlling peak inspiratory pressure and providing maximum pressure relief capability. Installation FlexiCare's Neopip Infant Resuscitator can be mounted horizontally or vertically using the universal mounting bracket. Pre-use checks The following pre-use checks should be carried out prior to every use of the Neopip Resuscitator. If the device fails to operate as intended during pre-use checks, remove the device from use and contact your FlexiCare representative for service. Step 1. Check pressure gauge. Check if the pressure gauge reads zero when the unit is not connected to a gas source. If not, then follow the re-zeroing instructions. Step 2. Connect the gas supply. Connect the gas supply tubing to a flow meter or blender. Step 3. Connect gas supply. Connect the outlet of the flow meter or blender to the barbed gas inlet connector of the Neopip using standard gas supply tubing. Step 4. Connect patient circuit. Connect the resuscitation TP circuit to the patient circuit connector of the Neopip. Leave the red cap connected to the TP circuit. Step 5. Set flow rate. Set gas supply to the desired flow rate between 6 to 15 litres per minute. Step 6. Check PIP setting. Occlude both the PEEP valve using a thumb or finger and the TP circuit outlet using the red cap. With the TP circuit occluded, turn the PIP control several turns clockwise to increase the PIP level. Step 7. Check pop-off setting. With the TP circuit still occluded, turn the pop-off control several turns counterclockwise to make sure the maximum pop-off pressure is set to zero. Step 8. Set the pop-off. With the TP circuit still occluded, turn the pop-off control several turns clockwise to set the desired maximum pop-off pressure. Step 9. Set the PIP. With the TP circuit occluded, turn the PIP control several turns counterclockwise to set the desired PIP. Step 10. Set the PEEP. Stop occluding the PEEP valve cap while continuing to occlude the T-piece outlet using the red cap. Adjust and set the desired PEEP level by turning the T-piece cap and verify settings on the pressure gauge. Step 11. Turn off gas supply. Instructions for resuscitation. Step 1. Set flow rate and check PIP. Turn on the gas supply and set the desired flow rate between 6 to 15 litres per minute. Turn the PIP control in both directions while occluding the PEEP valve. Confirm pressure adjustment on the pressure gauge. Step 2. Set the PIP. With the TP circuit occluded, turn the PIP control to set the desired PIP. Verify settings on the pressure gauge. Step 3. Set the PEEP. Adjust and set the desired PEEP level by turning the T-piece cap and verify settings on the pressure gauge. Step 4. Connect patient interface. Remove the red cap from the TP circuit. Fit the neonatal resuscitation mask to the T-piece and place over the patient's mouth and nose. Or, fit the T-piece to an endotracheal tube or laryngeal mask airway. Step 5. Resuscitation. Resuscitate by placing and removing the thumb or index finger over the PEEP valve port at the top of the T-piece to allow inspiration and expiration at the desired breath rate. Cleaning. Clean the external surfaces of the Neopip with a damp cloth and mild soapy water. To disinfect, use a quaternary ammonium solution. Dry all surfaces after cleaning 
with a clean, soft cloth or paper towel. FlexiCare resuscitation circuits are single use, discard according to local requirements for medical waste. Re-zeroing the pressure gauge. Place the Neopip infant resuscitator on a level surface with the gauge at eye level. Remove the gauge cover by rotating it one quarter turn counterclockwise. Using a small screwdriver, slightly turn the adjustment screw and confirm the needle is moving. Reset the needle to zero. Turn the screw clockwise if the needle reads below zero centimeters of water. Turn counterclockwise when the needle reads above zero centimeters of water. Move the needle a few times to ensure that the needle returns to zero. Return the gauge cover to its place and lock by rotating one quarter turn clockwise. Servicing. The Neopip infant resuscitator does not require service or maintenance under normal use conditions and when pre-use checks are conducted. If the device fails to operate as intended during pre-use checks, remove the device from service and contact your FlexiCare authorized service representative. Do not disassemble the Neopip resuscitator device. The following servicing is possible. Replacement of manometer gauge cover, re-zeroing of manometer, and replacement of enclosure side covers. For more information, visit us online at flexicare.com.